Throwing is Manning. Dancing to his left. And some room to... And now the ball comes out. Manning lost it. And this is going to get out of bounds. So they will gain a bit of yardage on the play, actually. And they'll hold on to the football as well. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. Now the Steelers put a stop to the action with a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Manning. Throw left side, complete to Ingram. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Evan Ingram, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Giants add on to their lead. You have fun with this one, partner? I am. I mean, he's been fun to watch under center. We always talk about you know getting to the next level, right? When we see people get into the zone. This guy's in the master class right now. What a performance he's putting on, just carving him up. Four touchdown passes, carving him up is right. Seems like everything he throws is going to be a completion and going in the end zone. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Time for the Steelers' offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. Now Roethlisberger on first down. He's going to let this one go deep. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team is playing excellent defense. Great communication. Doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to him. To the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. And they try to get him into space, coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. That's a nice catch, but unable to stay in bounds. And remember, it wasn't a wide receiver who works on that all the time. I was going to say, he, he likes to get the ball handed to him. Now, don't get me wrong, he's part of the passing game as well, but maybe a little out of his comfort zone there. Yeah, he might want to have a few words to say to us about that later, but I am still going with you on that one. Wide receivers work on a little bit more. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. It's real easy to say this running game needs to be better, but the reality is they've been given little time to actually find a place to run the football. It's almost like the defense is there on the handoff. He'll try and throw for it here. And this is caught by Martavis Bryant. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. It'll be a gain of 17 at a Pittsburgh first. Boy, that's some kind of effort. When he caught it, I doubted if he could get there. Knew it was going to be close, but credit him. Really good effort. How about the rack on that play, the run after catch? But most of the time, we think of it as just being an open field and picking up yardage. Sometimes you have to be real physical in order to gain the yardage you need for a first down. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of, otherwise he was going to get sacked. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. They'll go back to the ground with Bell. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. They'll lose 
lose a yard, and it brings up third. Count me as a little bit surprised by what we just saw there because this has been a pretty long drive, and normally you think that... He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Landon Collins. And he will score. Touchdown, Giants. This D wanting to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, start loosening up. I think you'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to 